New at 11, Cave Spring High School students returned to their old classrooms for the first school first day of school as construction there was delayed. And tonight, school leaders are looking at where students will go when construction eventually does start. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer joins us. He's live at Cave Spring High School tonight. Shane, uh, what options are still on the table? John and Lindsay, well, trailers will ultimately be used here at Cave Spring High School no matter what. School staff referring to them as learning cottages. What is up for decision, however, is what types of trailers those will be and what the bathroom situation will be like for faculty, students, and staff here at Cave Spring High School. Tonight, school staff presented to the Roanoke County School Board what options they're looking at for the 18-month construction period. These are the double wides, like you say here, with and without bathrooms. Those are one of the options. There's also pod units with multiple classrooms connected with and without bathrooms. The options without bathrooms built in would have portable bathroom trailers in their place. The price breakdown for all of that is as follows. The double wides without built in restrooms, $2 million. Double wides with restrooms are two and a half million. The pod units without built in restrooms are three million and the pod units with restrooms are four million. School division says price will be a driving factor in this decision. Bids are currently out to renovate Cave Spring High School, a project hit hard with delays and challenges. They're due back in a few weeks, and school leaders hope to have construction started and students in the trailers coming back from the winter break. The school board will ultimately be the ones that will decide what types of trailers will be used and what that setup will look like. They hope to have a better idea and make a decision on this later this year. Live in Roanoke County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.